Hi, it's Ramsey Dewey at the JX Fight Club in Shanghai, China. Our friend Master Glitch has asked the following question. He wants to know if a punch is more powerful in a state of adrenaline, like a big adrenaline rush, or more powerful when you are in a uh, zen-like state. And to that I'm going to answer neither. A punch is more powerful when your body mechanics are correct, when you are moving your body correctly. There are a bunch of different body mechanics that go into a punch. And if they're off, your punch is going to be garbage regardless of how hyped up you are or not. Now, you'll probably feel more powerful under a state of adrenaline. Or, transversely, a lot of people experience this, a lot of people feel weaker when they're hyped up on adrenaline. For about two seconds, boom, that rush, and then, oh, they will crash and feel very weak. I've experienced both. But ultimately, how good your punches are, well, that's going to depend on whether or not you can maintain good body mechanics, either in a relaxed state or a state of hypertension. Either one is doable. So you've got to train under all circumstances. You've got to train in a relaxed state. You've got to train in various states of discomfort, in various states of uh, distress. That's why we spar at different levels. Now, I'm a big proponent of most of your sparring being light contact. And for some people, especially when you start out, that's exhilarating. That's like, whoa, he's trying to punch and kick me. This is crazy. And it's going to spike your adrenaline. But you're going to get used to it. And then it's going to feel like a game. Now, hard sparring, it's one of those things that you should do once in a while. And you, you got to be careful about it. I know a lot of my viewers are younger people who are very impressionable. And to you guys, don't engage in hard sparring without the supervision of an experienced coach who knows what he's doing, knows what to watch for, and knows when to stop it. And knows how to give you instructions on how to fix it so you are not getting injured while doing that hard sparring. But. When you do that, yeah, you're going to experience adrenaline. Just the idea of, oh, I'm going to hit this guy really hard and he's going to hit me really hard. Just that idea, that feeling is enough to spike the adrenaline in most people. And so you'll find out very quickly how you perform under that adrenaline rush. And often it's poorly if you're not used to it. Anything you're not used to is going to be garbage. Anything you have under control, you know, like if you do a lot of light sparring, you get comfortable doing it. And so you don't experience the big adrenaline spike. Well, it's a bit of a paradox, isn't it? Because once we become comfortable doing it, we don't experience that adrenaline spike anymore. And so we're able to perform with correct body mechanics. So I suppose, yeah. If you're experiencing this big excitement spike of adrenaline, you're probably not going to perform very well because you are in a state that you are not as familiar with as you should be. So your body mechanics are most likely going to suck. Hmm. I think I just answered a question that I've had rolling around in my own mind. So thank you for asking. And if you have any other questions, please leave them down in the comments below or email me at ramseydewey at gmail.com. That's just my name, no spaces, at gmail. Thanks for watching. Now get out there and train.